Okay, some other words that uh, we thought we would just share with you. Um, in Britain, we use double cream um, to whip it up. Um, if we're going to use that in desserts, uh, like pavlova or anything like that. But here, I can't buy double cream. I have to buy... Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Um, <laughs> and it's very difficult not to find creams that aren't played with here, by the way. Everything's played with. Things are added to. So it does make it uh, very, very uh, different. Um, and also, um, plain flour. Um, if I use plain flour here, it's not called plain flour. It's called... All purpose. All purpose. So, AP. Um, just another difference. Um, then we had brambles. I made some uh, brambles and apple... Preserves. Yeah, I did make jam and I made some chutneys as well. And that was quite interesting. Lots of people asked me what brambles were. So you have to be very precise and call them... Blackberries. Blackberries. They want that word. Um, so that was fun. Um, and whenever we're out doing events um, around the place, you always bring flowers to put on our table, which is really nice. And I always bring the vase. And I know what you're talking about, but I say vase. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I always get told, bring the vase, and I'm like, I'll bring and the I'm vase. And I'm always corrected. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a correction anymore but it's more uh, fun okay i know what you mean <laughs> off we go so um and then the other thing that we take with us in case we have food over and we need to wrap it up um is i'll always bring some aluminium foil <laughs> it's aluminum foil but i get what you're saying again i get it and interestingly, they actually do spell it differently. So it's not as if it's spelt the same way, but said differently, which many, many words are. They actually do spell it the way it sounds, as in aluminum, whereas we um, spell it slightly differently. But it is exactly the same thing. So um, not quite sure how it managed to change itself, but it did. Yes. Um, so that's one more. And I know something else we were going to talk about was um, coriander. Oh, yeah. Because that is a herb we use quite a lot in Britain. But here they separate the um, above ground and below ground coriander. So the root of the coriander, you still call coriander. But above ground, so your green leaves, you actually call... Cilantro. Cilantro. And cilantro is used on all sorts of things and everywhere, but initially I was like, what? What is this? Um, Google is my friend while we're here. Were there any other words we wanted to mention? I think we've covered quite a few. There's always going to be more. <laughs> There's always going to be more. That is very true. We will make sure we do some more um, as all the words keep popping up. So.